Good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you again on Lake Monticello. Hey, I'm a, I bought me a new rod, and I want to show it to you. We got an H2O rod here, a brand spanking new one, blue to match my boat. It's like my spinning rod, but it's a uh, bait casting rod. And we bought us a new metal, metal reel from H2O. And uh, hey, we're going to give it a shot. It's seven foot, and it goes up to three quarter of an ounce and today we're going to try to the, uh the todd smith bumping spoon on the bottom will go up to a swivel and then we got his uh new that big red bug jig that he poured me we're going to call it the beaver tail jig uh and but today i got a red head I, I went to eight uh academy sports and and found me some quarter ounce head big heads for this big jig and then at the top we got another one of Todd Smith's uh, different color, and uh, and he and that's his head, the blue head at the top. And then we go up to a swivel two lines. So we come down with our braid line, and uh, we come down come down with two lines, with a quarter ounce head, and then a little bit longer we go to a swivel on the second line, and then two lines again, and we go to another swivel, and then off to the spoon. And off that second swivel, we got a little line there about, I guess, 12 inches to a jig. That's my slow trolling rig. The spoon drags on the bottom. The jigs stay right above the bottom and uh, and right in the fish's eye level. And that's what we're going to do today. Hey, I wanted to show you my new rod. And also, I'm going to show you that uh, Big Daddy Jigs sent me some new jigs. Uh, we got a different, a little bit different red bug color. Uh, jig it's a little lighter we're going to use it today because my old head's all beat up but hey we got it on that's on an eighth ounce head uh, i like to use eighth ounce heads for my spinning rod but uh we got a uh, a swivel two lines go down the braid line to a swivel with two lines i got a i think that's a number five lead right there on my and i got it on the shortest line and then we go to the longest line down to another uh, jig and I got a little lead above that. That keeps them separated a little bit. And that that lead, that other lead ain't but a number seven. So that's what we got. We got a swivel, two lines coming off on the short line. I got a lead that kind of holds it off the other line. Just something I do. And then uh, we got a little number seven lead and then an eighth ounce head on a, on a same kind of rod, just as a spinning rod, a little bit lighter. It goes up to five eighths. And uh, hey, and we got a great little reel there. Hey, we're going to go out and try them. Hey, hope we have a good day. And here's another color. Uh, Big Daddy sent me some more jigs. We got some blue and greens. And we're going to give that a shot. But thanks for being with me. Hey, it ain't but one car in the parking lot this morning. Friday, can't believe it. Look how pretty that lake looks out there. Hey, I'll scan the parking lot again like we do. Right around one car. Woods, dock, right on around. And back to the old fisherman. Hey, I hope we have a good day. And uh, I want to say thanks to Arthur Woods. Had a great conversation with Arthur Woods and Mike on the three-way call yesterday. Arthur looks at all my shows. And, uh, hey, just got to love Arthur Woods. Thanks to him for watching my shows. And good luck to him. He's uh, about 90 years old now, I think. So he still enjoys fishing with the old fishermen. You can't beat that. Hey, let's go fishing. Good morning, folks. The old fisherman. Back with you again. Hey. We tried our new rod and our new rig today. With different colored heads and see if that'll make a difference. Them big or beaver tail jigs. Uh, we dropped it to the bottom where the big boys lie. And uh, and we're gonna see if we can catch some today. On Lake Monticello, we're starting off here this morning early. Sun just getting up and I think I just had a bite already, believe it or not. Uh, let me get this thing here on slow troll. One's done on it. 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 Oh my, one's done on it. Look at him. One's done on it. One is done on it. Look at that. On the big red bug. Beaver tail jig. Hey, you got to love a big old beaver tail jig. He catches big old monocella perch. I tell you that. Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. What are we gonna do? Hey, 
Hey, I believe we're gonna catch them. They love that beaver too. They love that beaver too. No question about that. I'll see a couple folks out here this morning. There's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing. Oh my! Who's a another one? What? Jumbo magnum too. Boy, this new rod's working good already. Look at that. Got it on the top, beaver tail. Uh, that's more like a, a plum apple looking, that little orange thing to it. I don't know if you call it orange or green, but it's a, it's a red bug and, and it's got orange on it. And we got a blue tail on it this morning. Blue tail. I meant a blue head, excuse me. A quarter ounce head, like I said at the ramp, is what we use. They biting again, I can tell you that. Ain't no doubt. I uh, no doubt. They eating it up. They want this gear. No question. No question. We gonna spin this boat around and we gonna make them bite. Slow trolling. I think this bigger jig weeds out the smaller fish. That's what I think's happening. Hopefully, I'm sure we're gonna catch some small ones, but it's a big old head and a big old jig. And uh, you run that thing by a dog on nice perch and he'll bite it. Caught a couple. Hey, we might quit too. We might get all hyped up and nothing. That was a bite right there. That was a bite right there. We got a little shallow. We're 35 foot of water. <laughs> I'm liking this new rod already. Look at that. Huh? A little one on there. there. We got a little one. Let's see if we can get another to take it. Ain't got but one. Ain't got but one. He's little. He's little. Got him on a spoon. I ain't seen Looney yet. I don't know where Looney's at. I stopped a little bit uh, before I normally get to Looney. Looney will find me, though. He'll hear me talking. He'll be here. I promise you, he'll be here. He will be here. Took off yesterday. It was windy. My goodness, it raining in the morning, and the wind got up. And so we went and bought us a new rod, went to Academy Sports, and, uh, hey, met, I uh, had three different sets of fans there talking to them at the same time at Academy Sports. Appreciate all my fans. Hey, I can't go out now without somebody recognizing no fishing. Uh, but uh, Academy Sports is my favorite place to go shopping. Uh, they've got fair prices, and they usually got what I want. So that's where I do my most of my shopping unless I buy online. Hey, that's a nice one, huh? He thumped it pretty heavy. He thumped it pretty heavy. He thumped it pretty heavy. Oh, but he hit the spoon, he ain't that big. He ain't that big, he's big enough, though. Hey, he's big enough. All right, throw it down. See if we catch another. Thanks to Big Daddy Jig, they gave me some different jigs yesterday. I got to try them out. I don't got them on my other rod. We got uh, three different rods, uh, four different rods to fish with, with four different things on. And we'll change around during the day. Uh, when they quit biting one, we'll pick up another one. And that's the way we operate. A lot of times they, they, they get used to one, you pick up another and they catch more fish. And that's the way it works. I like catching them on the ultralight also with the lead jigs. And of course we might end up with the gut alive metal if they don't want to bite at all. I use the guppa live minna only in case I can't catch them on something else. Because they don't last long, and if they ain't biting at all, I'll use that guppa live minna. Try to make them uh, trigger a bite. But if they biting this other stuff, I, I'm gonna use it. I like this big jig because it weeds out uh, the smaller fish, I think. Oh, that was a good bite, I missed it. Goodbye. We probably have some boats next Friday. Uh, gonna be a 
pretty weekend, so I don't know whether I'll come back over here on Saturday or not. I don't know. Might. Uh, might go to Lake Murray. Either lake's fine. Lake Murray is about is more crowded in here though for the bass tournaments and stuff on Saturday. So I might just come back over here. Thanks to all the orders on my shirts and hats and what have you. Uh, we sell an awful lot of stuff and I appreciate all the orders. Hey, keep buying. Go to stevecumlander.com to get your merchandise. Check out the store and I appreciate it. Okay, done slowed up. I slowed up, we caught a couple and they quit. That ain't a good sign. That ain't a good sign at all. We might have to try another jig, or might have to go to the gup shrimp. A lot of time, first thing in the morning, they, ain't, they don't seem to be biting as good. Up about an hour, about nine, 10 o'clock, about 10 o'clock, they start biting better, I think. The other day I come out here, was I had to go three places before I started catch, catching the fish. The day I, I caught a few at the first place, so, but you don't never know what the reason. That, that was, they bumping, they still let them get used to this jig. We might have the downside. Might be too big. There's one. I, uh, the big perch ain't in here. It's the smaller perch. You got to find the bigger perch. That's probably the big thing. The smaller perch in here. I know they'll hit it. Now, we don't have a white head on this one like I do on my other rod. Uh, and we might have to go with a white head. I don't know. I see a few fish down there. 41 foot. Let's circle swing this thing, see what we can do. Got me some uh, Power Pro Slick line. It's different. Uh, they had it on sale. And it's smooth. It don't make the noise as a regular braid that I've been using. And we're going to see how uh, how efficient it is. The only problem is it's bigger around. It's yellow. Uh, it's bigger around. And the diameter is the size of a six monofilament. It's, it's a 10, it's 20 pound test is what it is. I ain't find the little stuff. They only had the bigger on, on sale. But I got a 20 pound test braid on here and I'm not sure about the uh, size of that line. It's a lot more visible and a lot bigger than, on, than, than I have on my other rod. We might have to change back the other rod, but I like the way the smoothness is real smooth when you reel it. Real smooth. But uh, we catching some little ones. I think what it is is I'm on little ones and not big ones. Is uh, what I think's happening. The big ones I ain't on. They might be out here a little deeper. Well, my hands are cold. It was like 29 degrees around a little but 29, that's cold. Hey folks, we moved a little bit. We changed rods. Fish ain't had bite yet this morning. Uh, we went to the double, uh, the little ultralight with the uh, double rig and put out a gut in mine and started catching a few. Uh, just caught a jumbo magnum. We got the big daddy jig on the bottom, that red one I showed you. And we got a gup mutter, gup alive mutter. And we're in 36 foot of water. We're gonna drop down and see if we can catch a couple here. Oh, Lake Monticello and got Looney. Looney got three Looney's right here, four Looney's. My same four, I think, that hangs around me. He's back following me again today on Lake Monticello. Hey, there's a bite already. Huh, there's a bite, what? Old fisherman. Had to go to the spinning rod, he got to adapt when they don't want to bite. Look at that water perch. On that doggone gut mutter. He done tore it up. I tell you, this new batch of gut mutters, they soft, they soft, they soft. They bite like a mutter. Uh, they just tearing up real easy. They're not, not lasting. But it is what it is. That's what they want right now. You got a big daddy jig at the bottom, and I ain't caught nothing on it. I caught every one of them on the gut mutter. Uh, I caught a couple on the three rig and they didn't want to take it right. I could tell you catch a couple and they quit. So when it's like that, I always go to that gut mutter now, since I've learned about the gut mutter. It's hard to beat that gut mutter, buddy. They love it. I'm gonna start soaking my other jigs in that juice too. See if that'll make a difference. It's cold this morning, freezing. Uh, in fact, it's barely probably above freezing. Sunshine though. No clouds, sunshine. 
Had a rain or storm yesterday, so this is after the front move through. It's usually a hard day to catch them after the front move through. But uh, I'm thinking we might have to adjust and go with this doggone gut matter and uh, to catch our fish. I see them down there. There's some down there that don't have bite. They uh, they really shut down a little bit right now, but hopefully we can stir them up. Hopefully we can stir them up. There you go. Have wiggle it a little slow and he'll take it. Hey, that's a good one too. That's some good ones out there. But I guarantee you it's on the gut money. Spent money on it. Oh my goodness, look at that, what a perch. Huh, look at that. What a jumbo, super dog, magnum perch on darn gut money. These days when it don't want to bite, you got to go with uh, the ultralight and the gut money. I mean, I can catch probably a few on the other one. After a while, we can go back to the triple rig trolling, and get them stirred up. Right now, they want something slow. And so you got to jiggle in front of his face a little bit. I got it on spotlight right now. 36 foot of water. And I barely see a few laying on the bottom. And not stirring up. But we're going to try to catch them when they don't want to bite. I'm making them bite. Twitching it up and down real softly. Dropping it back now. I got my gut mounted on the high jig. And so we got that high jig working. But you catch a good day. That was bite. Golly. Hell it. He nailed it. I missed it. I don't know how I missed that fish. They ain't eating it up, I can tell you that. They slow this morning. That's the way it is. Before the day's over, I'll make something bite somewhere. Sometimes after a front like that, it's really stormy. A lot of rain yesterday. Wind stirred up everything. Sometimes that's tough fishing. And uh, I think that's gonna be one of them days. I ain't sure he didn't put my jig down. We gotta check it. Jig looks okay. They're not touching the big daddy jig right now. I put it on and caught one with it, and then now I ain't catching it. We're gonna take it off spot lock and try to circle it around the circle, see what happens. See if that'll make a difference. Uh, you got to change your approach, change your jigs. You got to keep changing. You figure out what they want. That was bite right there. And they might want it pulling real soft. They might want it straight down. But you got to figure it out. You got to move the boat around. There you see that? What's that? The boat is a diving under here trying to intercept my fish. Uh, you got to keep changing to catch these fish. Changing. Every one of them's on a gut money. So that tells me they want a natural color looking something today. So maybe I ought to go with a more of a plain look on my jigs. Better look. All right, let's drop it back down. Hey, we got to make them back. This is going to be a struggle. Hey, every day ain't snatching them in left and right, although you can make it happen. Take, that was a bite right there. Golly. Nailed it. He nailed it. After we stir them up a little bit, we change back that three ring. We'll see if we can't control across them and catch them. That bigger, with the bigger jig. Now get it down, though. If you ain't down right, you ain't going to catch them. You got to be on them. You can't be close to them. Kind of like crappy fish. You get them crappy, you, they get like in a place like a 55 gallon drum, and you got to put it on them, and you won't catch them. Sometimes these perch are like that. When they're not aggressive, when they're just laying back. When I go to my goldfish pond in the morning, throw food out, and the, and the fish don't come up to eat, I know it's going to be a bad day. That's the way it is. You can just about guarantee on that. You must have knocked my jig down. Huh? They just ain't biting. Loney, you ain't gonna get breakfast if fish don't pick up. We've caught a dozen. They've been slow. But I ain't been here for 30 minutes. 
But listen, people, I, I, I feel like I know what I'm doing. And if I can't catch them, it's pretty tough, most of the time. And they might just be in a different spot, you know? But I'm seeing enough fish that ought to be kept. They just ain't hit. They, 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 when I pull that jig up, they come it up, so the fish are there. And I see Looney down there, too. Looney's swimming out of the boat. I see his darn heart arch. Looney. That's the one that eats out my hand right there. He ain't gonna eat this out of the hand. Too big to eat out the hand. This one's too big to eat out the hand. Oh, don't I got this hook while I'm gonna tear up my jig when I take it out. Probably. Sometimes when you look backwards like that, you can take and cut his lip. And get that jig down in there and take it out like that right there. Without tearing up the jig, but I told that that sucker is so soft. These jigs are something. I swear to you, they ain't no tougher than a mother. I want him to hang on there like he's a doggone jig. I don't want to just hang it, hook him like a mother, but that might work with these jigs. I don't know. I had to try that one day, just hook him in the back. All right. Drop it back down. Hey, we got some down here. We just got to make them bite. You juggers don't want to bite today. That's all this to it. But yeah, look at that. Hey, there he is. Nice ones too. These are nice fish. These ain't no babies. These are nice fish. Oh my, jumbo magnum. They killing that gut mother. You know, I ain't caught the first one on the big daddy jig. Not the first one. Not the first one. I tell you something. It tells me something. It tells me you better put a dog on gut money out today. They won't hit the dog on Big Daddy here. You might change the color to Big Daddy or something. We gotta do something. They there was a bite. Hey, we got them down there. We just got to get them going. There you. There you. There you. The gut none of the day, they're just biting slow. They're not aggressive. You got to make them bite that gut alive, mother. One thing they'll bite, they ain't had taken anything here. Not today. I tell you, every day's a different day, and you got to adapt and change. It's uh, getting on up in the morning, probably about 10 o'clock, and I ain't caught but a dozen or so fish, maybe 15. But they good ones. I caught them early, and then I went to Iowa without getting a bite. So it ain't easy all the time. Well, we got a few fish down there, I think. We're going to put the gut mother out there and see if we can't catch them. They ain't wanting the other stuff. I can tell you that right now. They're hitting the gut mother, though. When all fails, go back to the gut mother. That's a little one here, the loony fish here. Come here, loony. Come here, loony. Loony. Come here. Hey. Right there he is, see him swimming around stuff? Must not be my loan from the other day. Come here. He just swam around circle waiting for me to throw him out. He wasn't coming up the top. Might be a different loan. Loney ain't even acting right this morning. Now you know it's bad when Loney don't want to act right. Let's drop it to the bottom and see if we catch a couple. Tough day. <clears throat> Tough day. So far, but we're going to change things, I hope. we get them going here in a minute. They just went through a period of not feeding. When I first got here, I caught them a couple, and then they quit. And uh, been slow ever since. You catch a couple, I'll tell you. They don't want to bite. You got to make them bite. You got to work it slow. These here, I don't know what size they are. They look pretty small. Come here, Looney. Hey. I don't think these are the same loans I've been having. Here. Here you go. Come here. Come on. Got time to mess with you, Looney. Fight me, Joey. He got the other one biting him in the leg. 
That one Malone bit the other one in the leg. Now you tell me, bit him in the leg, fighting. Doggone, they mean. They mean each other. He had his legs in his beak, biting. And the other one was hollering. Man, I tell you what. Now I don't see any fish. Let's beat the boat. Maybe that'll help today. I hope he wasn't up high enough alone to get him alone. I'll take him. Might have been why he got off. I took him off my hook. Drop back down. See when we get him done. 39 foot. 39 foot. I was going to move, but I see two boats. A boat on both spots I was going to move to. So basically, we got to sit here, I reckon. Try to make these bite. Stay here. Here's a bite. Here's a bite. We got a few down here. So we'll just stay here and try to get these going. Put them in a feed. Oh, he thumped it. I missed it. My goodness. He thumped it. They bumping it. They ain't taking it. Like I say, I don't know what size fish. They might be too small. Gone it. I hate it when they don't want to bite. When they're aggressive and hungry, they'll eat anything. They don't want to bite. Them jokers don't want to bite nothing. They don't want to even take what they bite. Rascals, I swore. They ain't biting right, I'll tell you that. They are not biting right today. There you go. There you go. You've got to slow up, take your time to catch them today. That's all this is. They just don't want to bite. They ain't real big, neither. They aren't real big. They just don't want to bite. Few here, but they don't want to bite. That one, that one bit. One bit. What? One bit? Oh, my. Maybe this will be the place. Hey, he ain't that big, but he's on the gut man. He ain't that big. On the gut metal, though. Gut metal. And, uh, hey, let's see if we can cut the nut. <coughs> Got a few down there. 41 foot. It's about 12 o'clock. Time for us to go home. We've had a bad day. Thanks for being with the old fisherman on another episode, though. Uh, hey, it's been a struggle. Catch a few here, a few there. And uh, just some days are like that. Some days they eat it up. Some days they just don't bite. And that's life. Everything don't go your way every day. You got to keep, continue trying. And sooner or later, it'll get better. Can't give up, ever. Can't give up. I know I got fish down there. I see them. They coming up and looking at my plug, but they ain't taking it. They ain't taking it. They looking at it. They ain't taking it. Look at that. I see them. When I rise that thing up, they rise off the bottom looking at it. They following it up. They ain't taking it. Amazing. They just ain't biting. They just ain't hungry. I guess sometimes I ain't hungry. 
And that's the way it is today with these fish. It's a bad day. And this fish there, too. They don't hit this gut better. Hey, there you go. It's tough. It's tough. Hey, that's a good one, too. That's a good one. That's when your fishing skills come out when it's a tough day. And they don't want to bite. And you got to pull everything out the hat to catch a few. <coughs> On a tough day. There you go. See that? You got to pull it. You got to swing it. You get a bite. Amazing, isn't it? It's amazing. When the fish don't bite is when you got to put your knowledge to work. When they don't want to bite. Anybody come out here if they wide open, catch them on anything. No bumping spoon out there and catch them. Hey, on days like this, ain't no bumping spoon going to work. You got to improvise. You got to adjust. You got to adapt to be able to get on these fish every day like I do. Just about every day. Sometimes I have a bad day. Sometimes I can't figure them out. I'll be the first to tell you. But usually this time of year, I can figure them out and catch me a bucket full of fish any time I go. See that? See that? See what I'm talking about? That's what I'm talking about right there. And that's a nice one, there. That's a nice one, there. That's a nice one. I got Looney on his trail, too. That's a good old three-quarter pound perch. That's a good perch. <coughs> Jump a live metal, though. Hey, deadly. Deadly. All right. You got the circle swing. You got to pull it. They won't bite it. I got it on three right now. We're pulling real slow. We're getting it to the bottom. We're getting an extra little bit of extra line out. Line at, at about a 33 angle. And, uh, and we're pulling it across that bottom. With them two legs is holding it down there close enough to the bottom if you go slow enough. You can catch them. They ain't eating it up, but I see something out there. Wanna bite it a minute, see that? See that? See what I'm talking about? Wanna bite it a minute. Just stick with it. Good one too, look at that. Look at that. They eating it up. Hey, they biting. But they ain't biting. You know, I'm catching them, but they, hey, they wasn't biting. When I first started with that three rig, I didn't get a bite for the first 10 minutes. That's the way it is. You got to put out what they want, and then you, once you start catching them, you might can adapt over something else. But uh, you got to put out what they want, and right now they want something look like a melon. And that gut melon is the, is the key. I hate to say it because that gut metal is expensive, but it's worth it. You ain't got to bait no metal on the hook and do about as good as live bait. I hate bait metals. I don't mind telling you, I hate bait metals. I'm going to take this gut alive live metal up there that crappy pod four days over and see if I can catch me a crappy on it out there. I believe the crappy will hit it. You perch are hitting it, I can tell you that. They perch are eating it up. Look at that. You put it down there and work it slow, you get a bite. It's that simple. It's that simple. Put it down there and work it slow. You'll get a bite. Uh -oh. Smell color is what I got. Yesterday they was eating it up and then they quit. And I put this thing on there and kept catching. He popped it. We'll probably get another bass on this thing for days old. Bass hit it too. Everything hit it. Two and a half inch gup alive melon. We might stick with it all day. They're gonna be slow. I'll just use my ultralight to have me a good time. Look at that. Missed it. <clears throat> we 
Look at that. Huh? Uh oh. Got something big. Got something big. Oh, he got off. That was a big old fish right there. I must have snagged. Whatever it was, probably a catfish. Or it could have been a big bass. Pull loose. Whatever he was, pull loose. You seen that rod. He just took off running and pulled loose. I don't know if I snag hooked something. Or if it was just that big. I don't know. We'll never know now. For sure. That was a big fish. That was a big fish. Big fish. I bet he pulled my jig down. Bet he pulled my jig down. We got to check. Got off. Get biting. Lay down there. See if we can catch a couple before we go home. Big daddy, big daddy G. They're a size smaller than what I was catching earlier though. I was catching some big fish early. <coughs> big old purse. It's funny how you get different sizes. At another spot, I wanted to check before I went home and hey, plenty of them here. Just a matter of dropping down and catching them. There he is. Hey, there he is. It's a matter of dropping down and catching with his ultralight. That's a good one. That's a good one. What? That's a jumbo super dog supreme right there, buddy. That is probably the biggest perch of the day. They don't get much bigger than that. I gotta show you this. They don't get much bigger than that. I think that's the biggest perch I've caught all year. Hey. I think this is the biggest perch I've caught all year. Look at the size of that one. That's a big old sucker, ain't it? What?